of makes you question uh, values and ugliness and beauty and mm -hmm. meanness and niceness and there's a lot of that stuff. So many people in your life, some you befriend, some you deny, and some leave footprints far behind, and some you'll lose before the time. Though I'm still young to be in the Lonnie, still some things to understand. Hello, this is Lonnie Stark of Stark Solar Creek, and I'm joined today by Lillian Klein, who is playing Helen in the latest production here at Aurora Theatre of The Fat Pig. Um, so thank you for joining us today. This is right after rehearsal. Yep. <laughs> you had a long day. And a wonderful long day. Yeah, and, and we just heard all about your manicure story. So, oh God. so we're like close <laughs> friends now. Yeah. So um, we're going to start off just uh, The Fat Pig. I mean, it sounds like a pretty interesting title. Um, could you sort of tell us a little about what this play is about? So it's actually, it's kind of, it always takes people aback um, very uh, aggressively you know it is a kind yeah. of an aggressive title and um fat pig is supposed to be who i play helen um which sounds like an ugly like grotesque horrible thing but in actuality helen um turns out to be really one of the only beautiful people it, like beautiful from the inside out people yes. in the whole play um so it kind of makes you question uh values and ugliness and beauty and mm -hmm. meanness and niceness and there's a lot of that stuff. You said you're from New York. Yeah. How did you find yourself here in the, on the West Coast playing this part? That's a wonderful story. I did it in Boston um, two years ago and had a wonderful experience in every possible way. So I kind of uh, have always been looking for opportunities to play the role again in this play every single character has a really interesting, enormous, in their own way, journey that they go through. Said that I had, you know, hi, I'm Lily Klein, I've done the role before. And I made for this role. <laughs> Perfect exactly. for this role. <laughs> and I would love the opportunity to do it again. Unfortunately, I'm not available to come in for your auditions in person because I have a performance the night of your auditions in Connecticut, so it's like can't be in two places at once. Um, the diva move. I know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I, I'm can't such a make diva. <laughs> can't. Yeah. And so I sent them everything over the internet, and yeah. it was my first ever virtual audition. Wow, you must you might be changing this whole. I know. Thing. This could be almost as revolutionary as online dating. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Virtual, it's, you know, well, auditions. It's funny because I actually, seriously, I just read today, I think it was like in Hollywood Reporter or something like that, that they're not bringing people in anymore. There's like a new wave that they're not bringing people in for um, to the network executives to choose yeah. the final people who book the roles, that they're going to wow. be doing it all over video and, um, you know, tape auditions yes. and that they won't be bringing people in in person. Now, I mean, whether or not for the bigger roles if they're still not going to, sure. you know, bring They might do in. it as a second phase too, but at least you get a broader maybe yeah. audience of people and a pool. So I actually didn't know that I wanted to be an actress until I was 15 or something. So I kind of knew. So what did you think you were going to be before that? Or were you a confused, you know, I like thought, a lot of us? I thought I was going to work with Western Lowland Gorillas. Oh, wow. Like Jane Goodall. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Because I saw Gorillas in the Mist and like I just had this really great big love of animals and uh, dogs and I horseback rode and I, so dogs and horses and apes and one of the reasons why <laughs> apes is because I thought that it was so interesting like a theory of evolution and like yes. how we sort of are so connected to animals and I, that was a really clear way to to me that we were connected to animals hmm. is because we like grew up anyway so yeah how did your parents feel about switching career from working with apes <laughs> to acting i mean was there a sigh of relief was there oh my gosh she's gone on the other or whatever she yeah. um <laughs> so my parents are amazing um they have been extremely supportive um and of course like 
everybody. I mean, we have fights all the time and, you know, they're constantly telling me, oh, I, you know, wish that you would have chosen anything except for this. But to their friends, they brag yeah. like nonstop. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's really um, and they're really proud of me. And I think that they're proud of me because, you know, I mean, they did always say just we want you to be happy. That's the yes. most important thing. And I think that they realize that I am. And so I couldn't tell. <laughs> Holy, you look miserable. <laughs> Somber. <laughs> it's the stages of Anger. mourning and breakup and what that is. And also at the same time, the stages of new and like starting and relationship and like, and all of those different things. I mean, like one of the things that I've been exploring so much more. Um, so he, Tom's like part of a love triangle, sounds like. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. I mean, the relationship between him and Jeannie, as far as I know, is over. <laughs> <laughs> You're the woman in his life. Yeah. But, um, but there are definitely still like sparks there in the very beginning. And I'm like, ooh, whoa. Yeah. You get cast in the roles that you get cast in, especially um, when you're not Tom Hanks yet, for a reason, because it's something about you that you're is kind of similar. A far from Tom Hanks, you know. I know. Of, a lot of, you know, I get what you're saying, but you know. But you know what I mean. You're like, okay. So, uh, no, but I mean, until you're like an established name actor yes. or whatever, that, um, and then you can sort of break out of the box. But people like, and that's great. I mean, that's how I got this role is because I have enough of a similarity to her that people will believe. Yes. It's it. it people would believe that I I could be her. You know. In the last scene. Um, she starts to eat a hot dog and says, I can't help it, I eat when I get stressed out. A lot of us can relate. Yes, so I do eat when I get stressed out, of yes. course, but she's also trying to have a talk with him, with Tom, and, or, or trying to, or not, she, she doesn't know whether he wants to talk to her or whether she's gonna talk to him. And for me personally, when I'm in that situation, I don't want to put anything, like, I, I just want to be with the person and not have the, I mean, food is almost like a distraction, which I can understand you wanting to have the distraction or, like, something else to focus on besides just the, the what's going yeah. on. Um, but it's not my first go-to yes. thing. And so it was kind of an interesting discovery this time because I, I always sort of struggled with that moment about how can she be eating right now? <laughs> How can she still be eating? Um, but she does. And so where is that? It's interesting you bring up about food because I think that sometimes that's not necessarily the go-to thing, but there's so many other distractions that we fill our lives with that could be something else. Like I've been accused of, for example, going to my Blackberry while I'm talking to someone. Or and we use different crutches. So it could be food, but it could be something else. It's a role that really inspires conversation and mm. thought. And Neil Labute is really good at that, at like really, you can't hide from the ugliness in this play. Mm. I mean, you can't hide from the beauty either, and that's what kind of, I mean, the ugliness makes the beautiful that much more beautiful, and the beautiful makes the ugly that much more ugly. Mm. And it's coming to Broadway, um, with possibly Ashton Kutcher as Tom, which would be awesome. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean... You'd be right there, won't I know, you? Right? You'll be like, I'm Helen. <laughs> Hello, Ashton. <laughs> Ashton, give me a call. <laughs> so, I'll be your Helen. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for Thank your you. time. And just one last note. When did pigs ever become, like, seen as, you know, if I was a pig, I'd be oh. insulted. Because they're playing cute little things with those yeah. little tails. But anyways, um, this is Lonnie Stark of Stark Silver Creek here at the Aurora Theatre with Lillian Klein who plays in the la latest production of The Fat Pig. Here, I'll answer you asked to Peter Van Norden and uh, I called him Scott.
It's With big sunglasses. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm made for this room. I know. Perfect. I'm excited. Each other. I start talking like this. Sorry. Bad. Just want so. to clarify that, you know? <laughs> Thanks. Now you're going to get me in trouble here. They're going to be like, oh, late now. Good question. That's a really good question.